What are your weaknesses and lapses that you need to entrust to God's grace and mercy? A blessed day, dear brothers and sisters. This is our reflection question for today. Holy Spirit, make my heart open to the Word of God. Make my heart open to goodness. Make my heart open to the beauty of God. We all need someone to save us, to fill up whatever we lack, to extend us beyond our limitations. Eunice Yape, one of the full-time missionaries in the community of Couples for Christ, has often experienced how Christ drew near to her when it seemed like there was no way out. Eunice is from the province of Lanao del Norte, Philippines. She became a full-time missionary in 2011, serving CFC Kids for Christ in several provinces in the Philippines. Currently, she is assigned to the Evangelization Decision Support Analytics Department of the CFC Global Mission Center. There was a time when Eunice dreamed of joining the World Youth Day 2023 in Lisbon, Portugal. Sadly, her visa application was rejected, and she thought that that was the end of it. To her surprise, she was given a second chance. With the grace and the power of God, her visa was approved. Defying the odds, Eunice got to join the World Youth Day in Portugal with her brethren in the community. The backstory is, she found out that she could reapply for a visa, but she had to prepare all the requirements in an incredibly short time. It seemed like an impossible situation. But with faith in God, she quickly did what she had to do and secured all her documents. God drew near to Eunice during those moments when things seemed hopeless, and she experienced how God filled up whatever she lacked. Our Lord carved out a window of possibility in what already seemed like a lost cause. In today's Gospel, our Lord Jesus Christ was moved with pity and showed compassion to a widow whose son died. He raised her son from the dead. There could be more than one reason why our Lord did this. To conquer death, to return the son of the widow, or some other reason which only he knows. But whatever his reasons were, there is definitely one thing for us to take note of. He was moved with pity, and that brought someone back to life. In our lives as followers of Christ, we are definitely not as faithful as we hope to be. Often, we lack many things, even if we do our best to accomplish the mission entrusted to us. And so, we will always need help to make up for what we lack and to strengthen our weaknesses and defects. St. John Paul II said, You are a thought of God. You are a heartbeat of God. To say this is like saying that you have a value which in a sense is infinite, that you matter to God in your completely unique individuality. Let us rest assured that in our weaknesses and lapses, there is a God who loves us and will never forsake nor leave us. He is a God whose compassion will never fail to fill up whatever we lack and will strengthen whatever is weak in us. We just need to be humble enough to trust Him and obey whatever He says. Let us pray. In the name of the Father, of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Heavenly Father, thank you for always drawing near to us, wherever we may be. Thank you for always making yourself available to feel whatever we lack and to strengthen whatever is weak in us. 
May you give us a grace to trust in you and obey you so that we may experience your fullness. Amen. In the name of the Father, of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. God bless our families, brothers and sisters. God bless our Catholic faith and couples for Christ.